This is module one, lesson 18. In this lesson, we'll be solving multi-step word problems, modeled with tape diagrams, and assessing reasonableness with rounding. And again, we're gonna go directly to our problem set. So again, our directions are to draw a tape diagram, use numbers to solve, and also write your answer as a, um, a complete sent a sentence as a statement to the answer. So let's do number one together. In one year, the factory used 11,650 meters of cotton, 9, 4,950 fewer meters of silk than cotton, and 3,500 fewer meters of wool than silk. How many meters in all were used of the three fabrics. So again, let's visualize our problem with the tape diagram. So the easy right off the top is we know exactly how much cotton was used. That was 11,650 meters. The next type of fabric is silk. And we know that this amount was less than the cotton by 4,950 meters less. Then finally, we have wool, and that's even less. And we know that that is 3,500 less than the silk. And the question is then, how many were used of all three? So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much silk. So we know how much cotton was used, and we know how much less silk was used than cotton, so if we subtract, we can find how much silk. So we can't do the hundreds, so we'll take one here, so now we have 16 hundreds. We can't subtract the thousands, so we'll take a 10,000 and make 10,000. So now we can subtract. So that tells us there were 600 6,700 meters of silk. Then we know, if, now that we know how much silk there was, we know that there was 3,500 less meters of wool than silk. So if we subtract here, we get 3,200 meters of wool. Now we can solve the problem of how much was used of all three fabrics. We have 11,650 meters of cotton, 6,700 6, meters of silk, and 3,200 meters of wool. And if we add these all together, we get 21,550 meters. And we can do a quick round and estimate here. We could make this 11,000. This is about 7,000. This is about 3,000. So if we add those together, we get about 21,000, which is very close to the actual number we got. So now we need to answer our question there were 21,550 meters used of all three fabrics. Okay, pause the video, carefully read number two draw the tape diagram that shows exactly what's going on and solve for the question and write the 
solution in a complete sentence. So first we, we know how much, how many chocolate and cookie dough cones were sold. So first we're gonna start with chocolate. And that is 12,789. We also know how much cookie dough was sold, less than that. So we'll draw our tape diagram a little smaller. That is 9,324 cookie dough cones. Then we know that peanut butter, that 1,078 1, more peanut butter was sold than cookie dough. So we have the amount of the cookie dough plus an additional 1,078 cones, and that 99 more vanilla cones were sold than chocolate. So our vanilla would be equal to the chocolate plus 99 more, 999 more. So that's what our tape diagram would look at like. So now we need to figure out how much peanut butter and how much vanilla, because we don't know that. So for the peanut butter, so for the peanut butter, we have the same amount as the cookie dough, plus another 1,078. So if we add those, we get 10,000. 402 for peanut butter. And then for vanilla, we know it's the same amount as the chocolate plus 999 more. So our vanilla would be 13,788. And then to get the total, we're gonna add everything together. So chocolate, cookie dough, peanut butter, and vanilla. We're gonna add all those together. So in all, 46,000, 303 ice cream cones were sold. And if we do some estimation, chocolate is about 13,000 if we round to the nearest thousand. Cookie dough is about 9,000. Peanut butter is about 10,000, and vanilla is about 14,000. So if we add those together, we get an estimate of 46,000, which is very close to 46,303, so I can be pretty confident that my calculations are correct. Moving on, read number three, draw an accurate tape diagram and figure out the answer for number three. Okay, number three says, in the first week of June, a restaurant sold ten thousand. Three hundred forty five omelets. In the second week, week two, they sold fewer by one thousand ninety six fewer than the first week. In the third week, 
2,000 were sold more than the first week. So we have the first week plus another 2,000. And then in week four, it's 2,000 less than the first week. So if this is the first week, we know that this is 2,000 less. Okay, so we need to find out the number of omelets sold in each week. So let's start with week two. We're comparing it to week one, and it's 1,096 less. So when we subtract, So 9,249 were sold in week two. Week three, it's the same amount as week one, plus 2,000. So we have 12,345. And then in week four, it's week one and it's 2,000 less. And so if we look at how many omelets were sold in June, we're going to add everything together. Week one, week two, week three, and week four. So if we add The restaurant sold forty thousand two hundred eighty four omelets in June. And again, we could do some rounding and estimating for week one, it's about ten thousand. For week two, it's about 9,000. For week three, it's about 12,000. And for week four, it's about 8,000. And we get 39,000 as an estimate, and our actual number was 40,284. Very close, so we can be pretty confident that we computed this direct correctly. And that's the end of lesson 18.